What's up guys, Johnny here back with more Shadowgun Legends. Today, all the legendaries in the game and where to find them. I feel I need to make this video again. First time I did that was four months ago when Hive Mind came out, when the legendary armor was first introduced in the game. Then I did an update video about a month ago with update 0.6 when they removed Hive Mind from the game. But it's been over a month now. They added four new legendary weapons in the game with update 0.7. Even though the locations did not change after 0.7, I still see a lot of people asking on the social media where to find legendaries where can I find this where can I find that because people seem to not trust older videos that much just because the video is like over a month old and we have new stuff in the game they feel like maybe the information is not accurate anymore so we will check all the modes in the war games one by one and we'll see what legendaries you can drop in each game mode first of all we have to check the nitro shop it's a new shop that was just added in the game with update 0.7 you can now gain war points by playing team pvp games whether you win or lose in team pvp you will earn some war points and you can spend them in nitro shop you have a whole set of armor with some nice weapons there but the biggest surprise the liberator legendary smg it is only available in Nitro shop right now. You cannot drop this weapon in any game mode. You have to buy it. So your first job is play a lot of PvP, earn yourself 1,400 war coins, and you can buy the Liberator SMG. Now once you got the points, don't spend it right away guys. You should check the shop refresh because the perks, they change every six hours in the shop and you should wait and find a good set of perks with high numbers. Now let's check the dungeons, Voltaic Fist Blade Dancer, then Silver and Gold Arenas. Now let's start with the Voltaic Fist Dungeon. Nothing has changed, you will still find the Chaser Machine Gun, the Slade Shitstorm Rocket Launcher, the Plasma Blaster SMG. You will also find the shoulders for both legendary sets, Invictus and Basilisk. Now the Blade Dancer Dungeon, you will still find the Kira SMG, the Project Ambra Auto Rifle, and the True Patriot Sniper. Then you will find Bolt Body Armor Chest Piece for the Legendary Basilisk and Invictus sets. Now Silver Arena is the place to farm legendaries. There are so many different legendaries in Silver Arena. You have four weapons and you have three pieces of armor for both sets. Let's start with the weapons. You'll find the OG Moneymaker Sniper. You'll find the Ferragini Shotgun, the Mother's Promise Pistol, and the Nico Stopper AR. Then you will find the gloves, the legs, and the boots for Invictus and Basilisk set. Now last one is the Gold Arena, the Megalodon, the first burst rifle in the game, the Sing Song Shotgun with the very high fire rate, it's a PvP beast, and the Revenant Machine Gun, the brand new machine gun. And that's it already for all the legendary locations. This video should be accurate for a little while, at least until they put Hive Mind back in the game. Now, when Hive Mind will come back, we don't know yet what's gonna happen with the legendary locations. Will they remove again the legis from Voltaic Fist and Blade Dancer to put them back into Hive Mind like it was before? Or will we have some legendaries appearing in two places at once? We will find out later. But Hive Mind was not scheduled to come back that soon. They said we might have it back for Christmas, so we give it at least another month. That will be it already for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. I will be back soon. Until then, watch my other videos. Take care.